Good afternoon, good afternoon, everybody. We are right now located in the city of Davie, Florida. It's a beautiful day here in South Florida. It's a sunshiny, a sunshiny day. I uh, hope you guys are staying healthy, staying happy, staying motivated. Guys, if you're looking to buy, you're looking to sell, or you need a property manager, my name is Joel Vargas, 305-988-2230. This is what I do every single day. So let's jump right into it, guys. We're talking about people stop or people not continuing to pay their bills. And when we're talking about bills, we're talking about the important stuff, right? We're talking about housing. We're talking about credit card payments. We're talking about student loans. We're talking about the necessities, right? And why is this a, a big deal? Well, it's obviously a big deal because from a microeconomic perspective, if one person stops paying their bills and necessities, well, it's not, a, it's not an end all be all. But if you have it affect the economy in a macro perspective where you have hundreds of thousands, or in this case, millions of people stopping to pay their bills, it creates a domino effect and it affects the economy, it affects society, it affects pretty much everything having to do with our GDP and the outlook on our economy, okay? Um, using debt, obviously people are always gonna use debt to their advantage, they're gonna be buying or financing whatever it is they wanna finance or ideally the important stuff, right? Again, car payments, uh, housing payments, rental payments, whatever it is that they need to pay, they're gonna be using debt to their benefit. Now, the issue is not so much using debt. The issue is when people use the debt and they don't repay the debt. And again, we're talking about millions of individuals that stop paying uh, the necessities, right? And again, necessities being housing, uh, credit card obviously is important because you use credit cards to buy food and whatnot, um, student loans. But, and another uh, big part of this is also car payments. Uh, there's, a, there's an increased amount right now, guys, in delinquent car payments. People that are paying their car payments late and people that have stopped all altogether paying their car payments, right? Why is that? Well, with interest rates being so high, guys, you got to imagine people can't afford high car payments. People can't afford to be using high interest debt right now. And what happens all together when they're like, well, I'm not going to pay this again. One person that does this, not the end of the world, but you have millions of people doing this. It creates a negative domino effect on the economy entirely. And just to repeat, it's not so much the fact that people use debt. That's not the issue. The issue is people don't repay their debt, you know? So about a year ago, the debt in the United States was about a, a, a trillion dollars. Right now, we're approaching $1.2 trillion in debt. Well, we, what do we know? Well, what we know is inflation is very high right now. Interest rates are very high right now. Um, the, the increase in the average income wage is not increasing proportionate to the inflation. Um, I, recently, I recently touched base on this the other day. I was in, uh, in Europe a couple weeks ago, and some of you know, some of you don't know, they use the Euro. The, re the Euro is more valuable than the dollar is right now. So you can buy more with a Euro than you can with the dollar. But what's interesting and what kind of plays with my head a little bit is that, yeah, the Euro is more valuable, but it's actually cheaper to live in Europe than it is in the United States, specifically being South Florida. I went out last night with my, with my wife. We got some drinks, we got four drinks. With tip and everything, it was a nice place. But with tip and everything, it came out to being about $80 for four drinks, right? So we're saying each drink was $20. Uh, so yeah, so we went out for some drinks last night. I mean, granted it was a nice place here in Fort Lauderdale. But it came out to being about 80 bucks for four drinks. Do the math, it's about 20 bucks per each drink. Now, listen guys, I, I, I you know, I, I, I would say that I am a frugal person. I like to save as much money as I can. And every now and then we can go out and have fun and eat nice and eat some good sushi or have a nice dinner. I'm all, I'm all for it guys, but paying 20 bucks for one drink I don't know, it kind of, it shows, man. And I, and again, it, it, it takes me back to being in Europe. When I was like, man, I, I landed, the moment I landed here in South Florida, I was like, this is expensive out here, guys, you know? $20 for one drink, I mean, I, I hey, I'm not much of a drinker, but 
And I'll have a drink every now and then, but guys, to me, there's no drink worth $20. I mean, maybe in a five-star hotel in Dubai or something crazy like that, okay. But in a chill spot, I mean, it was a nice spot, but it was a, like, a little outside area with a little bar area. I just, it goes to show me that things right now are not okay, everyone. Things are extremely expensive. And another thing that I want to point out, and I, I touched base on this earlier, is that things are more expensive, right? But the wage, the average wage, is not increasing proportionate to the amount of the, the cost of living. And all this goes back to why people stop paying their, their, their bills, stop paying their rent, stop paying credit cards and car payments. They just simply can't afford it, guys. It's as simple as that. They can't afford it because interest rates so crazy inflation is so crazy so one thing to touch base on you know is as far as interest rates right a lot of people are expecting the fed to lower interest rates and i'm going to give you guys a reality check the likelihood that the fed is going to lower interest rates very unlikely very unlikely why do i say that when an economy is booming an economy is hot what you do to slow down the economy is you raise interest rates. You make it less desirable to borrow money. Why? Because interest rates are so expensive. On the on the uh, so high, sorry. On the flip side, when interest rate when you want to increase the flow of money, you want to increase uh, GDP, or you want to increase the amount of transaction, you lower interest rates to make it more desirable to finance to borrow money. Right now, guys. We do not need more people borrowing money, right? So for the Fed to lower interest rates, I don't see it really happening. And, and I'm gonna touch base on real estate. Some, some, some of you are watching this video, some of you are waiting for interest rates to go down to buy a home. Well, let me tell you what happens. And again, I don't know what's gonna happen in the future. I'm not the Fed, nobody knows, right? They, they do make their own moves. You assume that they're making the best moves for the greater good of the United States, but Let's say they lower interest rates, right? It's possible they're gonna lower, it's just unlikely, but it's possible they lower interest rates. You're gonna have a more influx of people looking to buy. You're gonna have more people qualifying for a mortgage. And what is that gonna mean? More influx of people trying to buy is gonna create a higher demand for property. There's gonna be less property. And what do you think is gonna happen, guys? Do you think you're gonna be paying less for a home if there's more demand, if everybody around you is trying to buy? Or you think you're gonna be paying more for a home? We well, use basic, basic economics, guys. You're gonna be home prices might fall. They and I, and I don't doubt that they're gonna fall by a bit, a couple, uh, some percentage. It's probably gonna fall some. But the moment you have a higher demand in homes, they're gonna shoot right back up. So a lot of people are waiting on interest to go down. You can wait, guys. You can get the better rate, but you're not gonna be paying much less for a home when you have an increased amount in demand because interest rates have dropped. And going back to what I was saying earlier about, you know, being in Europe, you know, it's a it's a it's a clear indicator, guys, when you can be in a beautiful city in Europe. And I'm not talking about like Rome, like a tourist. You can be like in a smaller city where it's not so touristic and you're paying for a breakfast, two cappuccinos, a croissant sandwich, maybe some other goodies. You're probably paying about 15 euros, 15 to 20 euros, realistically. Not too bad, you know for two people 10 bucks a person hey, that's fair i think that's fair i went to a, a spot here in western florida some of you know don't know western florida is is a very desirable area but long story short i went to a, a spot here i got a similar breakfast as to what i would get in europe you know how much that breakfast costs and i'm not i'm not pulling your leg i'm not making this up it came out to being almost 40 bucks 40 dollars for two croissants, two cappuccinos, and all they did was add some like, I think salami is what we added to the croissant sandwich. $40, guys. And again, listen, I like to enjoy life. I like to go out, eat good food. But 20 bucks, guys, for a, 20 bucks a person for a sandwich and a cappuccino is ridiculous. Why do I bring this up? Well, I bring this up because I want to touch base on inflation. Anytime that the government prints money, sends money overseas, regardless if you agree or disagree, they send millions of dollars. And mistake me if I'm wrong, 
the amount of money that we've sent, I think, to Ukraine is over 500 million. It might be approaching a billion. You know, let me know in the comments below. But what does that mean, guys? Well, every time the government prints out money, it lowers the value of the dollar. And when you lower the value of the dollar, you are creating more inflation. And when you create more inflation, it causes your tank of gas. It causes your food. Here we have Publix. Publix is, Publix is a great place to shop here, guys. But Publix, with 100 bucks, you're literally buying a couple items. It's, it's almost like... It's almost like... You don't want to shop at Publix anymore because it's just so expensive, you know. Um, and, you know, going back to an inflation, what do you think is going to happen when people are paying all this money for electricity, cable, cell phone bills? Uh, um, uh, I, mentioned, I mentioned gas. Uh, just basic necessities, right? Where everything is just so expensive and it's going to create them to have to cut back on all their expenses. They're going to stop paying their other bills you know and it's a sad situation guys because like right now with car car payments because the interest rates are so high car payments are crazy right now and then what does that mean you have more delinquencies because maybe the person pays for the first couple months they realize holy cow i can't afford this car you know getting qualified for a car is not the end all be end all be all it's actually pretty easy to get qualified for a car it's not the most impossible thing you know um so you can get a car that maybe you're underqualified for that you shouldn't be getting. But remember guys, I mean, a rent here, rent here in South Florida, rent here in Davie, Florida, it's really where I do a lot of my business. Rent here in Davie, Florida for a two bed, two bathroom apartment is about anywhere from 22 to 2,500 bucks. We're talking about an 800 square foot apartment, right? 800 square foot, two bed, two bath, nice area, right? But you're paying 22 to 2,500 dollars right calculate in a car payment which car payments now are easily five to seven hundred bucks a month calculate credit card debt another couple hundred bucks calculate uh student payments another couple and you can just see how easily you're paying four to five thousand dollars guys and 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 just debt every month and four to five thousand dollars in debt every month that's a ton of money everybody maybe for some of you maybe not so much but for others Four, four, three, three to four thousand dollars just paying off debt and expenses. It creates a, an unhealthy economic situation. And again, that's why you have people that just stop paying their bills. You know, people have to cut back. And then the issue is that the wages aren't rising proportionate to the debt. Wages are remaining the same. So people are making the same amount of money, but everything around them is more expensive. Um, something that also fueled this, kind of started this, was also the pandemic. And, you know, however you feel about it, the government printed out, you know, millions. I don't know the exact number. Millions. It could be in the billions of dollars in money to kind of give a stimulus package to help people out with money. You know, that was, a, that was a very different situation. But again, going back to it, when the government prints out money, guys, it, it affects the dollar. And it, if it affects the dollar, it affects everything having to do with the dollar. And what do we use in the United States? It's the, it's the dollar. Um, when I, and, and, and not to keep bringing this up, but when I was over there in Europe, they don't even use the dollar, guys. You, they, they just want euros. They don't want no, they want nothing to do with the dollar. And it's just, it, it's kind of scary, everybody, that at one point the dollar was the most powerful currency in the world. And now it's almost seen as this like decreasing currency, right? And it affects us here in this country. Now you have uh, Russia, uh, uh, having partners with other countries that want to get away with the dollar and kind of just get rid of it. Um, it's just something to take note of everybody, you know, and, um, and even, and even to myself guys, you know, I, I, I have my little bit of debt. It's nothing super out of this world, but it's debt that I have to pay off just like everybody else. That's why I have to work hard every day to make sure I can pay, make my payments, pay my mortgage, you know, Home insurance rates are going up here in South Florida. There's somebody, uh, there's a buyer that I'm working with who got a quote, came out to being about $6,000 a year for a three bed, two bath, about 1,500 square foot home. And not even in South Florida, we're talking like mid, mid Florida, close to mid Florida, right? And again, guys, this is just little things that, and, and the guy is from Texas and he told me, man, the insurance rates are crazy. 
makes me rethink if I even want to move to South Florida. And these are just little things, everybody, that we have to all be paying attention to. We have to be conscious about. What I will tell you is this. If any of you are expecting any president, regardless of your your political views, if you're expecting any president to come in to enact policy that's going to save us from ourselves, it's not going to happen. We need to be ahead of this game, ahead of the curve. We need to be able to be conscious and awake to what's going on around us. And what I will say is this, and this is this is something to everybody, including myself. Right now, guys, try to not get into any big payments. Try to not buy a car right now. Try to not try to not finance unnecessary debt. If you're gonna finance stuff, make it because necessities. Try to stay on top of your bills. Try to be ahead of the game. Try to save as much money. Don't spend a whole lot. Spend on what you need to spend on. I get it, people stop paying their bills. You, that's a bad situation to be in, guys, because unfortunately in this country, credit is a big thing. And sometimes you do need credit to make big moves, whether that's for business, uh, business moves, you wanna buy a home, buy a business, whatever the case is, you need credit in this country. And if you go bankrupt here, that stays on your credit for about what, seven years? Seven years isn't like a huge long time, but seven years is damn near 10 years. That's a, that is a bit of time and that you can't even make a move. You gotta ask family or friends to help you finance this. So just be aware everybody that things are, things are happening behind the scenes. Things are happening to the average income American, middle class, lower economic class. Things are happening every day, guys. So I just want to just kind of make this video to kind of, and again, including myself, I'm not selling this from, hey, an outside perspective. No, I also got to be conscious of my spending too. I can't be spending 80 bucks on four drinks coming out to 20 bucks a drink. That's crazy, you know? Maybe once every couple of months, not a big deal, but you got to be conscious, guys. Right, right. Why am I going to spend $20 on a drink when I can go get some drinks from my Noco liquor store? For 20, 30 bucks, and I can make 10, 15 drinks. Look for savings, guys. Here we have Trader Joe's. That's where I primarily shop. I don't really shop at Publix because it's just so expensive. But just be aware, everybody. And that's pretty much it, guys. I don't want to harp on this subject for too long. I wish you guys the best, honestly, from the bottom of my heart. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, you can leave a comment below or show me a text or call me. My number is 305 9882230. I'm a licensed and insured realtor here in South Florida. If you're looking to buy, you're looking to sell, you need a property manager. My name is Joel Vargas, and I would love to work with you. Have a great day, everybody.